Hello, America. Welcome to the official Facebook page of the Campaign to Reclaim. My name is Nicholas Ronald Anderson, and uh, I will be the facilitator of this here web page and of the Campaign to Reclaim for its entirety. Which, if it goes beyond two years, it will most likely have gone too long, though I am not going to commit to any time frame. It is meant to be short-lived. Uh, six months would be an awesome amount of time, personally. Uh, if it does not accomplish what it was created to do in that amount of time, then either all will be lost, <coughs> meaning um, America will be unrecognizable, uh, our rights will be completely gone. Um, it's hard to recognize as it is. Or all will be gained, meaning uh, our rights will be reestablished. And uh, America will be re-energized and uh, committed to um, where we're headed. Uh, either way, two years from today, the tone of our country uh, and most likely the world should be drastically different. Now, I suppose that with or without the implementation of the Campaign to Reclaim, the latter is also true. The way, the tone, the way things are now, it seems to me that something's got to give. I don't know. Uh, and things are going to be different two years from today. I mean, the only thing that remains the same is that everything changes, right? So, regardless of this campaign, things are going to be different. I'd like this campaign to either make things better or uh, at least draw the line and define where the problems lie and uh, what side, you know, which way we're headed. Anyways, this video blog or journal, if you will, is phase one of the campaign. Uh, <laughs> I have in, in my notes here, break a bottle of champagne psh, on or something for you guys. I might end up doing that and putting that in on here anyways, but I don't have that with me now. Uh, anyways, the ship is in port and preparing to set sail. That's what this video blog is. This is the first official um, show or uh, blog here. Uh, there's a quote that goes something like, ships are safe in harbor, but that is not what ships were made for, built for. This analogy fits well for this particular campaign because phase two of the campaign poses some serious risk. There are three phases to the campaign, one, two, and three. Uh, I'm not going to explain two and three yet. I will as I continue to post more blogs and explain more about it and what we're uh, planning on doing here, but uh, anyways, I will be taking on that risk for you, America. Hi, hi, America. Hi, hi over there. Hi, hi over there. Hi, hi. Nice, nice to see you. Nice that you showed up. Um, as history has shown, there are always inherent risks to starting and or facilitating a revolution. Yeah, I use that word. Death, for example, is a risk. Uh, complete and total banishment for another. Please understand, America, that this is not a mutiny uh, or an act of treason. In fact, it is just the opposite. This is an attempt to reclaim our stake on this land. A land that was established by us and for us to support the unalienable rights of all human beings. All human beings. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. A great man once said, give me liberty or give me dot dot dot. You know the rest, America. I hope, brothers and sisters of this greatest nation on God's green earth, that that is not something you and I should ever feel the conviction to say. Because at the point that one is truly prepared to die for their freedom, 
they most likely have been pushed to the point of being ready to kill to obtain and or maintain that freedom. If not for themselves, then at minimum, their children. America, we have seen it happen. History has shown that we ourselves have played a role um, uh, in, in uh, wars, Revolutionary War, uh, Civil War, um, pff, Afghanistan War. Pff, uh, you know, we haven't seen war on this land, on our own land, a long time besides 9-11. Uh, which is what thrust us into Afghanistan. Anyway, you guys know the story. Anyways, uh, let me get back on track here. Uh, most of you feel that we are headed that way again. When I talk to my friends, I talk to people, talk to family members, coworkers, you know, everyone says America's headed in a bad direction. Uh, the economy's falling apart. Uh, uh, the government's out of control. Uh, there's nothing we can do. It's all bad. It's all bad. It's all going downhill. I'm not. I'm still not exactly sure what that means. If it means what it has meant in the past, it usually means death, murder, destruction, starvation, labor camps. You know, it's bad stuff. It's bad, bad stuff. Anyways, um, this is an attempt to avoid that situation. Uh, so, uh, okay, brothers and sisters, that's what this campaign is all about. The politicians aren't going to fix things. Not because they don't want to, but because they are part of the very same system that is steering us down this road we're on. Excuse me, did I say steering? <laughs> because things seem pretty out of control up on the hill. The beautiful thing about it all, though, is that it never was their job to fix things to begin with, or steer anything from the get-go. The framers intended the direction of this country to be the responsibility of the people. That means you and me, folks. If the kids up on the hill are getting out of line, it is our responsibility to set them straight. It is up to us to clean up the mess, get the train back on the tracks, and headed toward its destination. Destination greatness.